రాధే కృష్ణ శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ శ్రీమతే రామానుజాయ నమ వెల్కమ్ టు తిరుకోళ్ళు పెన్పిళ్ళై రహస్యం ఎపిసోడ్ నంబర్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ ఇన్ ఆర్ లాస్ట్ ఫ్యూ ఎపిసోడ్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ సీన్ వేరియస్ ఇన్సిడెంట్స్ విచ్ డెమాన్స్ట్రేట్స్ డివోషనల్ సర్వీస్ టు లార్డ్ రామా బీ ఇట్ భరత బీ ఇట్ లక్ష్మణ ఆర్ బీ ఇట్ గుహ everyone rendered devotional service to the lord and such a service was a unique offering of divine love of divine outpouring right from the heart of the devotees for the lord in our today's episode the devotional service theme continues tirkodur penpillai is comparing herself with the devotional service offered not by a human devotee but by a bird now her bhakti rahasyam number 48 is did i fight with the demon like jatayu so jatayu is that bird which rendered devotion service to lord rama and this story finds a mention in the aranya kanda of ramayana let us see who jatayu was how did he meet rama and what was the devotional service part of it now lord rama sita and lakshmana as we know they were on a 14 years exile this incident happens when they had completed around 13 years of their exile they kept on walking they never were stationary they used to travel from one place to another be in that particular place for a particular time then again used to move ahead this way the trio had started from ayodhya in the north and in their 13th year they were somewhere in the southern part of india of bharata varsha now in one such travel when they were moving along the jungles lord rama saw a huge bird which was perched atop a tree now he started looking at the bird with suspicion because in the past in their jungle life there were many events where demons disguised themselves as birds or animals so in even in this case lord rama thought that it was a demon even that bird looked with sharp eyes and the bird broke the silence by introducing himself he said i am jatayu the king of vultures and o oh lord rama i am a very old friend of your father dasharatha just by hearing this lord rama suddenly felt a peace he suddenly felt solace in his heart it was 13 years time by when he had lost his father king dasharatha if one may recall the king gave up his life immediately after rama left for the forest so suddenly lord rama felt that it was his own father who came before him so he told lakshmana and sita that they would choose to be residing in that particular place for some time this way they could enjoy the fatherly affection of jatayu even jatayu says the same thing he makes a request for rama lakshmana and sita to stay together in that particular place 
Jatayu says that should Rama and Lakshmana go out into the forests for say fetching food or for some other purpose, he would be there looking after Sita. So this bond developed very quickly between Jatayu and Rama. Now days passed in with this company enjoying the time together. Various incidents happened which we have not gone in detail uh, as a part of Ramayana. Just some glimpses and then we will come back to the uh, connecting story here. There are incidents where Ravana's sister Surpanakha she meets Rama, Sita and Lakshmana and Lakshmana cuts off her nose when she tries to misbehave with Rama and Sita. With pain she, rush, she rushes to her brother Ravana. Ravana is infuriated that someone has the daring to cut off his sister's nose. So as a revenge, he decides to attack Rama and kidnap Sita. So he devises a plan where he asks his minister Maricha to take the guise of a golden deer. The plan is this deer should run in front of Sita. Sita would be captivated by the beauty of this deer and this deer that is Maricha in disguise should accordingly lead Lord Rama on a wild goose chase. So with this plan they start the implementation. So Maricha as planned he disguises as a golden deer and again as per the plan Sita is captivated by the beauty of this deer and she lovingly requests the Lord to get this deer for her as a pet. Now Lord Rama and Lakshmana both are in two minds if this deer is also a demon but Lord Rama is overcome by the request of Sita and he starts chasing the deer. Now part A of the plan is successful here. What happens next is this deer that is the demon in disguise he runs across the jungle and because he is himself a demon he has all these magical powers and he makes himself vanish. Now as if Lord Rama didn't know, he also pretends that he is a normal human being. He doesn't know all these supernatural things and he runs behind the deer. He is frustrated, he is exhausted that he is not able to catch the deer. And at a particular moment when the deer appears before him, he thinks enough is enough and he takes his arrow and with one shot the deer is killed. Now immediately when the arrow pierces this deer, as per part B of the plan, the deer while giving up its life, it assumes the original demon form of Maricha and he lets out a shout O Lakshmana, O Sita Now the motto was to confuse Lakshmana and Sita who are outside the denser part of the jungle where this chase happens that it is Lord Rama who is in danger Immediately Sita forces Lakshmana to go in search of Lord Rama sensing that the Lord has met with some kind of a tragedy or a dangerous event. 
Now Lakshmana tries his best to counsel Sita that it is actually he senses that it is a demon and he also names him. It is the demon Maricha in disguise. So Lord Rama is all powerful. So no harm will ever befall him. This is some kind of a trick which is going on. Yet Sita is in total distress. She only has Rama and the love for him before her. So she rebukes Lakshmana in the harshest words that Lakshmana is forced to leave that place, leaving Sita unguarded. Now Jatayu is there, but the bird is asleep on the treetop. That's when the final leg of the plan is implemented where Ravana comes as a sage in the guise of a sage and he talks to Sita. Now when he gets the right opportunity, he assumes his form as Ravana and asks Sita to come with him. Now Sita is infuriated. She says she will never see any other person other than Rama. Now that punctures the ego of Ravana and that's the time when he writes his own destiny. He forcibly kidnaps Sita, he drags her by her hair and he takes off in his Vimana that is the aerial chariot from the southern part of India to Lanka. Sita cries desperately for help. She requests each tree, each animal, each bird. And that's when Jatayu hears the cries. He immediately stands up for Sita and poses as an obstacle to Ravana. Now Ravana is surprised seeing such a huge bird. First of all, Jatayu tries to counsel Ravana saying that this act of kidnapping another person's wife and that to Lord Rama who is an avatar of Vishnu will spell a doom for him. But what to say about a person who is filled with lust, who is filled with ego, pride, anger, nothing could stop Ravana. That's when a physical battle ensued between Jatayu and Ravana. Jatayu with his powerful claws, he starts inflicting injuries on Ravana. In spite of his old age, he valiantly fights of Ravana. Slowly, Jatayu takes control of the battle by killing the horses which are attached to the chariot and at one point he also manages to break the chariot thereby Ravana falls to the ground. Again the terrible battle starts where Jatayu is inflicting injuries upon injuries on the various body parts of Ravana. At one point this bird pulls the hair of Ravana and the demon is in such a pain that he feels this is enough now he should kill the bird so with his sword he just swings and he cuts the wings and the legs of this bird now again Jatayu would have had the upper hand but for his old age he was totally exhausted when that time came otherwise till then it was Jatayu who was inflicting these wounds but when exhaustion took over Jatayu could no longer fight that's when Ravana saw that chance and he fatally injured and finally killed 
the bird now sita is desperate she looked lovingly at the bird she recalled all those past memories when she was there with jatayu along with rama and lakshmana but ravana gives her no time to lament he just pulls her off now with even the obstacle of jatayu gone he just flies off towards the southern direction that is towards lanka so yes a very sad story tirkolur pinpillai catches this episode that this bird had such a devotion such a dedication for sita that he in spite of his age he fought off the demon king and finally he did not choose he he did not care about his life and he met such an end so did i fight the demon like jatayu this is her bhakti comparison now the devotional service did not end here jatayu was lying on the ground but life had not left him he was waiting for that moment when lord rama would come and he would then narrate whatever happened and give him the clue that ram uh, that ravana had carried off sita in the southern direction and as he prayed for it lord rama so once these incident this fighting was happened uh, was happening lord rama when he realized that the demon maricha had shouted oh lakshmana oh sita while give up, giving up his life he f- he also realized the trick and that's when the thought dawned upon him that lakshmana would come searching for him and some danger would befall sita so he rushes towards the hermitage where he was staying and he sees lakshmana on the way he is angry why did lakshman leave sita alone so there is a dialogue there they go to that hermitage find that sita is not there like a madman rama is just running from trees to trees asking whether these trees have any clue where sita has gone finding no answer he and lakshman they wander from various uh, from one point to another finally they come to this spot where they see broken chariots dead horses then he finds this bird in a huge in a, in a pool of blood at that time rama when he sees the bird from the distance he again feels that oh this is the bird which has killed his beloved sita and it is resting he doesn't recognize jatayu from a distance after a point in time when he comes closer when he takes a closer look that's when he realizes oh this is jatayu he is further saddened jatayu has just that last few moments of life left in him where he narrates whatever happened and he points towards the south that this is the place where ravan has took sita with that he gives up his life so that is a double tragedy for rama of losing his wife and losing a fatherly figure so overcome with grief he and lakshmana they do the final rites of this bird jatayu so jatayu by his devotional service of fighting for sita as well as his love and affection for rama and lakshmana what did he get in return the lord himself performing the final rites for the bird so such was the devotional service the purest of 
the service selfless without any ulterior motives and the relationship was also of a father and children so this story is actually very emotional it has a sad ending unlike our other devotional comparisons where the ending is always a happy one for us jatayu gives a very important lesson a on devotional service b never to give up and fight for a right cause till the end that was all from our current bhakti rasim stay blessed stay devoted and stay tuned for our next bhakti rasim radhe krishna shri gurubhyo namaha shri mate ramanujaya namaha